Hey guys, it's Kitten, and this is, I know this is not, um, I already forgot the fucking name. Uh, this is not, uh, Pocket Mirror. This is the Channel, Channel House? The Channel House? I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Trilogy. Um, this is... A game that was on the Steam summer sale and it had really good reviews. And it's a po point and click game, so it's a lot more gentle on my computer. Um, there was the possibility that I was going to get Outlast, but I know with my computer, mm, let's just say my computer could not handle that. So we're playing this game, and this, this. This actually reminds me a lot about, of, um, what's that one game, uh, that I kind of played, um, I don't know, but I'll put it at itself, I'll put the, the title of that game on screen right now, but it reminds me a lot of that particular game, um, except this one, I think, it's probably a lot better resolution and funded, I think, maybe. I don't know, but like the, the graphics are a lot more like realistic, I guess, and there's like a full cast of voice acting in this game, so. Also, it's gonna be a lot more gentle in my voice <laughs> because in Pocket Mirror, there's a lot more talking and I thrashed my voice with how much I was talking for that game, so this one's a little more relaxed. But it's still horror, so we're gonna go into it. Okay. So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news! The blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old-fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous, Nervous Test, Test Pilot. Pilot. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Okay. Yeah, it, like, it has the same functions as that one game, like the point and click. Kind of, it's probably made by the same engine. Probably why it's so similar. I've got no desire to go out. Yeah, same. I don't really want to wear a coat indoors. Are you sure? It might be cold. There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. Okay. Playing a game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. Yeah. Even though I'm playing a game right now. I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Me too. I like, I like, so far I really like the music of this game. Well, shit. It's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. I also apparently like the characters as well, because, well, shit is a thing I say. Don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations, you have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. 
I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. I know that feeling more than anyone. I was walking through Washington Square Park the other day when I saw a woman having a long animated conversation with herself, apparently. Nobody else around, but she was really going at it, arguing with air almost. She was a redhead like me too, a bit older though, and you know what I realized? That's me, that is. When I eventually get fired from the station and end up missing talking to you guys so much that I just go full throttle talking to myself instead. So to the anonymous woman talking to herself in Washington Square Park, I salute you. You gave one insecure DJ some hope for the future. Hmm. If I was drinking coffee or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. Nope. Now, I'm sure it's here for a reason. Okay. Power on. Good idea. Cool, bro. Five minutes later. Nope. Not changing it. Let me have this one childish act of rebellion. Huh. Okay. I'm not changing it. I kind of like bitter reminders. I'm not changing it. Right, let's do this. Oh look, drama as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever, I've always loved his writing. Very personable, makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well, no time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Of course, I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it, what did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh, yeah. Ah, here it is. I yeah, think. that's what I thought. While I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave, I think I'll leave it here for now. I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. <laughs> I've already read it. Twice, because that's how exciting my life is. So exciting. Um... There's something stuck up by the light bulb. I might be able to fish it out. There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Then reach it, ah, though. Got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. So... Let me click on that lamp ah, again. Got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A ten-foot extendable ladder with stand and carry case. I'll just put it back. I'd rather leave probably do an upgrade. They say PC gaming is an expensive hobby. It's not. Unless you're broke. Which I am. Yeah, I get that. The snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass, thanks. I don't know what I'm looking for, do I? No, please. Uh. Sure, I could use a shower. I find it funny that I don't follow her. Wait, wait, wait. 
Well, shit. It's locked. Oh, okay, that I was... I don't recall locking it. That was the thing In fact, the key. I don't recall it ever having a key. Well, I don't know what I'm looking Nope. Well, I don't I'd prefer to leave. Sure, yeah, I'll go to bed at seven in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. You sleep on your couch? If I was drinking coffee or felt like reading, then maybe, but I... Well, it's not letting me, like... Probably do, unless you're... Probably, unless you're... Okay. I'm pretty hungry, but I'll grab dinner in a bit. Got things to do first. Um, like, what? Oh, whoops. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, that's, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Am I... am I doing it right? <laughs> nah. 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 Alright! Cool, bro. Um, well, shit. I'm not calling her or anyone else. Not tonight. Then what do you want, woman? I'm gonna king everything. Still might have stopped. From me. Mm. Stuck already. Well, oh, fuck. There are only so many. Well, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Nah. <laughs> the writer oh. walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Let's do this then. Um. Nah, let's not get sidetracked with minor things like asthma. <laughs> um. Hey, that's 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 the title of the game. It could be this one. I should double check the title. It could be the. As shown in Horowitz's 2003 essay, "This Is the Wrong Book." This is the wrong book. I'd love to sit down and read this, but nah. By applying the principles of objectivism to this, I can discern it isn't the book I'm after. Since I haven't read it, it's probably not this one. I can't face the shame of seeing the due date. I'm saving it for a special occasion. I haven't thought about this book in years. I doubt it's the one. So it's this one. It could be this one. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. It could be. It could be. Nah. It could be this. One. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House oh. Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. Oh, Cassell, you are a strange and troubled man. I wonder whatever happened to you. For your graduation, I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. 
Oh, okay. Wait. Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Good book. Death, The High Cost of Living, just one of my many Neil Gaiman books. All the onk wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was totally an onk wearing wannabe teenage goth girl. Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged, a beautiful novel by an author whose beliefs I totally agree with. Just kidding. Rand was a fucking troll. I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving Megalopolis by Gail Simone. I bought this because I loved her run on Secret Six, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. 50 Great Coastal Walks of the British Isles, Volume 2. I checked this out of the library years ago, then forgot to return it. Don't ask me why. I've never even been to Britain. Hopefully the librarian's forgotten. Sanctum by Madeline Rue. This just came out. I have an especially strong connection to her writing. I can't wait to read it. In fact, everyone should. Yeah. <laughs> the Mirror by Graham Masterson. I remember this being pretty terrifying when I was a teenager. I wonder if it'd hold up. Um. Sophia's Inhaler. Might as well bin this. Tomorrow. Who the fuck is Sophia? Well, I don't rec. I'm pretty. Oh, I keep using the W A S D, and I'm just like, that's not the right one. I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. The next train isn't for two weeks. I can't wait that long. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature, and even I would have remembered signing for it today. Looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? I'm very confused. Ooh. Oh, hi, old now person. It's storming. This is gonna be fun making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. I guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening, then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. Looking outside, it seems like the storms hit a little The snow might have stopped. Rain, thunder, lightning, the works. So batten down those hatches and get ready for a cozy musical night in with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively on BC304 FM. Sure, yeah, I'll... Hmm, I think I can j- Hmm... Nah. Nah. Unfortunately, Gavin took all the cutlery with him, so I'm having to make do with brittle plastic crap. It won't be any use. The more I think about that, the more it pisses me off. Who takes the fucking forks when they go? Seriously. Yeah, that is that is Unfortunately, a bit ridiculous. Gavin, there won't be any I'm not. Sure. Where are the DVDs? Can I touch anything else? Probably, unless you're- Oh. The E key sticks, and there's a cigarette burn on page up, but I can't bring myself to part with it. I don't know why, really. A mouse. 
I really want a gaming one. Gavin always used to go on about the joy of basic no-frills hardware. First thing tomorrow, I'm ordering a gaming mouse. A memento. Gavin won this for me in one of those claw machines. No idea how he did it. Some kind of wizardry. Some games magazine. Every review score is 7 or above. An unremarkable desktop lamp. If I was but I- Please keep telling me I need a vacation, and I say to them, Guys, you get the same pay packet as me, do you think I can afford a vacation? I think they're just trying to get rid of me. I'm joking, of course, to all the wonderful people at BC304 FM. You're my family now. Stop wow. glitching. What a chilling thought. I think I can jimmy it open with something, if I can find something that'll fit. Like what? The door to my apartment. Sure, I'm going to stand around staring at it all evening. The peephole doesn't even work. Gavin's old coat. It's been here since... since... Well, the night he left, I guess. My birthday. Classy guy. I do wish he'd come and pick the damn thing up, though. My adorable little pot plant. Gavin used to call him Dave. I called him Gilbert. Gilbert it is. <laughs> A portal to an exciting other world. Or as the landlord calls it, the bathroom. Books, games, a couple of CDs. Very me. And an asthma inhaler, for some reason. My trusty portable radio. These days it gets a lot of use. My DVD collection. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was. Is, though. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. Nah. My DVD collect. I think a few. So. It's a novelty phone. Gavin got it for me. It looks like a crow. The kitchen. I'm not actually a bad cook. I just usually can't be bothered. I'm not reaching back there again. Do it anyway. I'm not reaching. My mom gave me this when I moved here. Gavin had to fix one of the legs a few months ago. Oh god, never mind. It houses a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, and an ashtray. What a life. <laughs> ah, the sofa. So many happy memories of sitting here, doing fuck all. I have nothing but love for this sofa. Wait, no, the other thing. Uh, apathy. It's a sofa. Actually, it's a bed, too. Um... So... A surprisingly beautiful view of the city. One of my favorite things about this apartment. It's dark out. The E. I don't know why. You know what? I think this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. This idea is so stupid that it might just work. Alright, cool bro. Let's do that. Here goes. It fits perfectly. Aw, oh, shit. The tail's just snapped off. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. Oh. Wow. Well. I'm not closing it again after all that. Right. Let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. Okay. Creepy much. Huh? Shit. I fell asleep. Huh. Gone eight. Phone's ringing.
Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob, hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Hello? Yes? This is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Thank you. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. What? What's... What, what's wrong? What's happening? What just happened? Oh, that's... that's pleasant. I can't fucking breathe. I, my chest is. Help! Shit. I, okay, um. Oh, asthma. Take it. Do it. Alex, Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you all right? I'm fine, thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God, Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be all right. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah, seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... It's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. Wait. I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob. I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. The days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call Mom tomorrow, too. Did Gavin die or something? Interesting. Outside, the city begins to withdraw. A siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You know, you never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. Hmm. 
interesting. It looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow is still falling. It's a clean, crisp night. Just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. The porter can get it when the train pulls in. A pile of luggage, including mine. I just dumped it there because it seemed like the right thing to do. There's nobody inside and it's all boarded up. No point. This place is lonely and forlorn. Took an expensive cab ride to get here. We're in the middle of nowhere. The station looks like it hasn't been used in years. And yet we're here. I can't go off exploring forests right now. The train's coming. A forest. The trees are bare in the winter months. I've never been here before. I should explore when I'm back from Augur Peak. I used to love walking in the forest with Mom and... Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll go walking in the forest when I'm back. Although I imagine there are plenty of forests on Augur Peak to explore. Probably. I probably shouldn't start playing on the tracks. Yeah, you should probably shouldn't. Train tracks. They don't look very well maintained. So, hey. You been waiting long? I, uh... I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? A little port town. Last stop. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to Augur Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah, I won't pry any further, but you know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. It's going to be a long, boring journey. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Hmm. An intellectual looking guy. His jacket has elbow patches. Cool. <laughs> My dad has something like that. A pile of luggage. The porter can get it when the. Hey. Hey. I'm not walking away. I'm here now. There's no turning back. I can see the train coming. It'll be nice to get in out of the cold. I'm not... Hey. An... Oh. I guess... I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Hey. Hey. You can take this. I've already read it. Pulp horror fiction? Yeah. Sorry. No. Not at all. It's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he... Looks like this is us. 
for seeing it so pixelated, that animation is actually pretty good. Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Off you go now. I dropped a thing on the ground. I dropped a thing on the ground. Well, well. What's this then? Who's a cute little doggy? I know just who'll like this. <coughs> Settle down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. What? That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. It'll be over what soon. The fuck is and we'll be back home before you know it. What? Aye, I reckon so. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? What? What? What the fuck? What? 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 What the fuck? What? Okay, that was the first episode of the ch channel, channel, channel house trilogy. Um, that was inhale, and then the next one is this one that I cannot cannot pronounce, and then exhale. There's the dog, and there's the inhaler, and there's a lamp that I have yet to come across, and then books, and yeah. That, wow, okay, that was weird. That was just fucking weird. I mean, I like it so far. The episode seemed kind of short, though. So, yeah. I guess, I guess that's it for, for episode, not episode, for the first chapter of this book. This book, this game, whatever, it's very bookish. So I'm just gonna go. And I'll be back with the next episode of this game. Bye guys.